Well, the other local team trying to advance tonight from the Sweet 16 to the Elite 8 was the Byron Tigers in Class 2A. They ran away from their first three postseason opponents. Tonight at the Mendota sectional, the Tigers faced the Princeton Tigers, a team Byron defeated by 15 points a month, ag a month ago. Princeton's record was only 17-15 and 15 coming into this game. They knocked off Rockford Christian on Tuesday night, and it was, of course, a battle of the Tigers in this one. And Princeton came out firing their big center. Noah Laporte was tough to slow down in the paint. There he goes with the offensive board and the putback slam. Byron was down six, but then comes Case and Newton flying in for the steal and an easy finish on the other end. The big focus for Byron had to be rebounding the ball, and they made a push on the defensive end. Jack Hively with a takeaway and a dunk to finish it off. He had 16 tonight. Another steal here for the good guys, and they have Ryan Tucker down court who goes for the reverse, and the Tigers are cooking with gas, folks. The defensive effort in the second quarter was honestly just crazy to watch. Newton again here going to force a turnover, and Tucker has another easy two-point basket on the board. But hey, here comes Princeton again. First driving effort is no good, but Laporte is there for another putback dunk. Then with just seconds left until the half, Hively feeds it to Tucker, who reaches the rim at the buzzer. Byron led by one at the break, and the fans were absolutely loving it because the Tucker tear was about to begin. Here he goes flying to the hoop with the bank shot. Then he's going to add another fast break bucket right here. The Tigers were rolling in the second half. They held Princeton to just four points in the third quarter. And how about this? Hively with a backwards pass to Tucker under the hoop to keep pouring it on. Tucker finished the night with 26 points. And the Byron Tigers roar to a sectional championship win, 59-43 to the final, their first title in 17 years. The number one thing was rebounds. Rebounds, they were killing us on the boards. And the start of the second half, we started boxing out, putting away the 23. He was killing us. And we shut him down in the second half. I think that's what won us our game. I mean, I haven't been in a lot of playoff games. We have a lot of last year regional championship loss, the year before that, regional semifinal loss. So to be able to play in a huge game like this and produce like that, it means a lot. It's great for our basketball program to experience some success, you know, with our football team being so good. But it's just a great senior class, a great group of kids that bought in five years ago to what we were doing, and it's it's a it's a pleasure to coach. Yeah, I mean, this is the best team of boys I've ever played with, and I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. All right, so here's what's next for the Byron Tigers. They'll play at the 2A Sterling Super Sectional Monday night. They'll face Chicago Latin, which is 21-10. That game will start at 7 o'clock.